Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to get into a video on how to potentially get games on Steam for a massively discount price and um, this could potentially work on other platforms. Now one thing to note, I'm, I'm just saying this just as a CYA, I cover my ass, and basically uh, if you run into any legal problems, breaking legal laws or terms of services, then that's purely on your head. Good, bad, either way, that's on your head. This is more of an informative video. The reason why I looked into this is I noticed a, um, let's call it a quote-unquote glitch in the system. And basically, I saw that it can be exploited. Now, I come from cybersecurity background, I um, have a habit of trying to see how deep we can get into this legally and um and to see uh if it can be exploited how hard it's to exploit and um and pretty much can anyone exploit it now i'm not saying i did exploit it but i'm just saying that it is something that is noteworthy so as far as things goes uh let's get into this one of the first things you need to do is go to a site like the following i'll leave a link down below and I'm going to be using a highly anticipated game like Cyberpunk 277. Now, I'm not going to show the actual doing this. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to that way it's covered my end. But um, if we take a look at the prices per area, this is something that a lot of people don't know, is you can get a massive difference in price, more or less, depending on where you are, is uh, depending on the price you're going to have to pay. So if we take a look at the base price being at the United States, which is where I'm located, if we take a look at pretty much anywhere, like say for example, go to Japan, if we do a currency change, then we will have to pay $80.28. Where in the United States, we only have to pay pretty much about a $60 base price. Or if we go down to say, for sample Russia, then you're looking at $31.80. or and some of these other countries above, again, it's $29.98 or 89 cents. So you can easily save about half of the overall price pre-ordering something. And this is fairly important to note because, you know, by I'm not saying that you should exploit it. But the way I see it is if you can save money, and you're spending extra money for, you know, no reason. You know, you want to help the developers, you want to help the developers. I'm not saying that. But if you don't really care about that, you're basically burning money in a burn barrel. And by the way, I got a Patreon down below and a few other places you could donate if you want to burn some money. So if we take a look at another game, a little bit less, um, you know, wide range. Uh, this recently went on sale, but if we take a look at the current base price, is about $60. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, go highest point, $78.80 again, Japan. Or if we go to the lowest end, um, China, uh, Russia area, Russia itself, you know, you can get down to $34.99, so about a 40 to 41% savings. So as far as that goes, um, now, how does this actually work? So at this point, I'm going to be blocking out a few things, but um, you know, it's pretty straightforward on how this works. So one big thing I want to mention before we get deep into it, because some people might come up and say, well, why don't you just change your store country? The problem with doing something as plug and play has that, I wish that was the case, apparently for a long time. It was like that, but they, uh, for, for a long time from now, they um, they fixed that problem. So uh, doing that it has actual several problems. The first being that it does go against the term of service to, you know, flip-flop like that and you flag something, and you can get your account banned. The second, and this is actually a major thing, is you cannot switch your accounts but every 14 days and there's ways around this by just using a vpn tracking the system banking that year and whatever and go through that but the fact of the matter is is you're really sp not supposed to actually be able to flip flop like that, that quickly and lastly and this is a big thing is unless if you have an actual billing address at the whatever country 
but the fact of the matter is, is it won't work. Basically, what's going to end up happening is as you go through the payment processing, if you don't have the billing address correct, it will kick back and say that billing address is not right. And you either have to fix it or you just have to give up because you probably don't have a bill address there. Now, if it did go through, I've checked onto it, at least within the United States, that is actually illegal. Um, I think it's like fraud or something like that. It's, it's within that realm. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, your area might be different, but yeah, I, I would not really risk it. Um, and again, your your account probably has quite a few games on it. So yeah, I, I wouldn't risk that either. So how would you actually go about this? It's actually quite simple. Your second account, you need to open up a second account. And your second account needs to be within whatever country that you want it to be. It's very important to do this as early as possible because what needs to happen is your first account needs to send a friend invite to your second account. And this is very important because your second account cannot send a friend invite to your first because otherwise the second account has to be able to spend $5 at minimum to be granted this, this ability. So as far as that goes, your first account can send that over because chances are it has spent at least five dollars and your second account once it accepts that you need to wait uh, I, I forgot what it is off the top of my head but i think it's like a week or something like that but um your first account needs to go to the following the uh, digital gift cards and basically buy a digital gift card for your second account and what that's going to do is it will simply transfer the money to your second account since you don't have a billing address to start with, but you will have the money in the account. So, yeah. Now, keep in mind that there is a confer uh, uh, conversion between the actual uh, uh, currencies, and that does cost a little bit of money into itself. So just keep that one in mind. But the big thing to note is you just sent the money over, so you eliminated the billing address problem into itself. So with that, you can actually go into the second account and just buy the game as a GIF. I'll just purchase that as a GIF, send that game to your um, first account, and it will show up in your first account's list uh, at that point because your second account just basically bought a game for someone else, uh, another user. And that's something that's actually very important to note is now the second account, uh, it basically supplied, uh, the first account supplied the money to the second account, the second account supplied the actual game, the product, to the first account, and uh, there you go. It's very elegant, but uh, one big thing to note is a lot of this can be shut down fairly easily. You might say, well, why does the um, companies, they actually have these games, uh, different prices, different areas, and why do they stop you from doing whatever? It's actually the developers that actually set the prices, but with that one in mind, Steam does collect a portion. So, say for example, uh, you know, ten dollars, uh, uh, ten percent of fifty is five dollars. Uh, ten percent of hundred dollars is ten dollars. So, you know, with the increased price, yes, the percentage stays the same, but you, uh, the percent, uh, the amount that you gave, uh, the fact of the matter is, is you just gave Steam. A bit more money so they have a financial incentive to fight this type of activity and they're fairly successful at it in some cases in other cases i don't think they really care so with that one in mind uh just keep that in mind also keep in mind my uh cover my ass policy that if you're breaking any laws term of services anything like that then it's purely on your head but anyways as far as that goes if you've got any questions and whatnot then leave that down below. If you find some success into it or got some tips for others, then feel free to also leave that down below. But if you like this video and want to see more out, then uh, feel free to check out my Patreon and other methods and 
uh, feel free to let me know what type of videos you want out in the future. But anyways, I'll see you in the future.